Professor Bright here, and we are taking a glance at We the Revolution, a game in which we are a judge in revolutionary France, a, uh, well, a very bloody period in their history, and I'm concerned about some of the choices I will have to make, because I don't want to end up with my head in the guillotine, but I also don't want to put innocent people in the guillotine, if I can avoid it. Still, we shall see. We shall see exactly how that works. All right, Polly Slash, let's see what you have. Father. Ooh. Like his voice. I am here. Do you hear me? Oh, cool, they have the low poly style. I gave you the best I could. Why did you disarm me? I have your blood in my veins. How could you? I am better than he was. People will follow in my footsteps. It looks a lot like someone's about to stab you with a spear. Arthur. I have several questions with that introduction. Okay. France, turn of the 18th century. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, ugh. Oh, we got a prologue. Okay. All right, let's see what we get. Love this art style, by the way. It's kind of become my new favorite. You guys seem very cheerful. Oh, gross. vomiting on the flag. Really now. Remind me next time that I want to stop drinking this cloudy rock gut. Remind me before I drink it. We're disgracing Themis. <laughs> is anyone... Is someone coming? This was bound to happen. I told you. Papa, you said we would go. You promised. Papa had a lot of... work. He has a lot of heavy glasses. You promised me. I can't anymore. I'm fed up with asking. Mama's angry because... Quiet. Hey, your favorite son wanted to prove he was more honorable than his father, so he started a fight. A five-year-old boy, for God's sake. I never just wanted you to explain that to them, but, well, you are fighting for justice at an inn. Damn you, you bloody drunk. Mother... Wait, what? I'm confused about your relations here. Drag and drop documents to manage their layout. Click to display their contents. Something about events, which I skipped, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, this is supposed to be the case that I'm sort of... Oh. I see. This is going to decide my fate, essentially. These, um... Oh, wow. Some of your decisions and changes in the world of the game may cause global modifiers to come into action. These factors affect relations, reputation, and influence. Oh, dear. Uh, so, the case file. Ahem. <clears throat> to Judge Alex Fidele, we have not expected this kind of behavior from your son. Though, apparently, we should have. Innocent... Innocent child's play turned into an assault on our children. The younger one, Antoine, now has a chipped front tooth. Wait, really? 
Find the correct links to unlock questions for the defendant. Choose a line of inquiry and link it to the right category. While linking lines of inquiry and categories, you can make a limited number of mistakes. Oh! Let's go back out of that for a moment, because I'm still confused. The news? Hmm. Your addictions are no longer a secret. The fact that other children are bullying your son because of them is a minor problem. But who is spreading those rumors? It's likely to be one of their parents. They could have whispered into their children's ear whom they shouldn't play with and why. They might have even spiced the story up with a lie, but who will hear it next? Let's talk eye to eye. Addictions. I'm an alcoholic, then. This is a problem. Deli. A judge of the Revolutionary Tribunal, generally considered a drunkard and gambler, a protege of Raymond Devoy, who introduced him to the world of laws and regulations. In private, he's an unremarkable character. He is us. Okay. Yes. Innocent child's play... Innocent, you say? Hmm. Oh, okay, so I'm looking these. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Question discovered. Okay. Nope. I mean, obviously, the course of events or the victim, yes? Of course, events are the victim. Uh, those events. Damn, all links have been used. Mentors help cost two influence points. And that was it. Gather information and influence the jury's attitude by questioning the defendant. What exactly were they saying? Oh, sorry, these are tutorial messages. Shoot. Now, being the jury's good graces allows you to find out which way they will sway after you've asked a question. What exactly were they saying? Are you too drunk to guess? I was not asking you. They were yelling that you were... Well, I told them that it's not true, and they started calling me names. They called me a drunkard's son. How'd your play turn into a fight? Our neighbors, Antoine and Jean, they're saying mean things about you. We were playing guards and they asked me to pretend to be a drunkard whom they would, you know. You were fighting both of them at once. I had to. Who started the fight, exactly? I can tell you who ended it. <laughs> but they ended it. They knocked me to the ground and paid me back for hitting them. Did you really break Antoine's tooth? Frederick's just a child. I don't know, I don't think so. Did you hit him in the face? I think I kicked him, but not that hard. Hmm. Ah. Negative relations with factions means negative consequences for you. Reputation impacts everything in the world. Forever in the sections, and even the ability to persuade other characters. And if... Okay, set him... Yeah, set amount of influence points per day. In the future, you will be able to increase this limit. Good to know. Sentence is death penalty. Oh my god. Can I sentence this child to death? I so desperately want to. Ooh, I can get details about these people. Oh. So Bernard's the guy who's kind of an asshole over here. Yeah, slender and handsome. Yeah, sure, okay. Frederick is the boy who's yeah, apparently doing okay. I mean, verdict. Condemn the defendant or deem them not guilty? I would say not guilty in this case. Not really his fault. You did well. A man has to defend the honor of his family no matter what. No, that's not exactly what I said. I mean... 
defend yourself, but... Mm. Those children are so small, and they already know the truth. The father of my children is a lying drunkard and a gambler. Bernard used to worship you, but he soon grew up. Now it's Frederick's turn to learn the truth that echoes in the streets. He's no longer fearing your anger. He knows that your threats are empty. Frederick is only starting to learn the truth about his father about from the streets. I was unaware that Mathilde had such a temper. As was I. We'll wait outside, as always. Hmm. I see I have a bad reputation. Ah. This is a slightly different game than what I expected. Paris. I call it Paris, but sure. <laughs> Liberté! Eh. We were enchanted by the idea of freedom. I think Alexis is supposed to be me and ooh. ooh. We could not resist it. Yeah. Whole families took to the streets. <laughs> France was never so happy. We were enchanted by the idea of freedom. So free. Oh, I think I must do more of this. Act 1, Liberté. Day 1. This is after the revolution began, as it were. Prison by the common folk and the revolutionaries. Interesting. Tell me about the hierarchy? I don't know any of them, except for Robespierre. Obviously. Owing to his passionate devotion to the revolutionary cause, he is widely referred to as the Incorruptible. As leader of the radical Jacobins, he preserves order in the National Convention with an iron fist, and if need be, terror. Undeniably the most powerful man in Paris in the Age of Revolution, as yet none have dared defied him. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe we keep it that way. What's going on with this guy? Compiled by Richard Mon... Monnier. Jean Renard, a 45-year-old innkeeper, has been charged with fraud. He's accused of diluting alcohol in his tavern, tricking his clients into paying extra. Guests came with their mindset on a, a very specific goal, getting roaring drunk, but instead of staggering out after drinking two pitchers of wine or several pints of beer, they would sit in the inn until morning, still sober and completely penniless. The innkeeper's fraud came to light when one of the customers discovered the scam and caught the cheater in the act. The man entered the host's cellar and witnessed him diluting the alcohol in the barrels with ordinary water. As a result, customers received only four parts of what they paid for, and one part from the water carrier. I'm sorry, you're accused of diluting alcohol? Well, that's obviously the method. Innkeeper, motive. Oh, caught in a trap, apparently. That's upsetting. Diluting alcohol method? Presumably, uh, questions to reveal two more. Customer's drunkenness. Oh, okay. Hmm. Very good. A little bit rough, but there we are. Do we have any news? The father had a rare episode of foolishness when he decided to stand up to someone stronger, threatening him with a fist and showing his children they are safe by his side. He did not listen to your arguments. Furthermore, he gave a precise description of where you can shove them. Decreases in my reputation. I have some thugs. I am not a nice person. Some things cannot be permitted. Hmm. Okay. I'm just curious about some of this. No global modifiers. Friends and family are these folk. The rapport. Protocol. Didn't seem to be anything there. In difficult times, people like to seek peace at the bottom of a glass. Please, introduce yourself. My name is Jean Renaud. Monsieur Le Jeu. Le Jeu? Okay. Judge? I'm not. Nothing but a fraud. 
systematically opposing the opinion of the jury may lead to serious consequences. That make that makes sense. Do your clients drink a lot? Tavern regulars usually drink a lot. You've been selling plenty of wine. Quite a lot, yes. And yet you've been paying taxes on the amount of wine you've bought, not the amount of wine you've been selling, correct? I don't understand. You've been paying taxes on four wine barrels, but by adding a quarter of water to each, I've actually made the money for selling five barrels of wine. That's one way of putting it. Perhaps it is correct. I'm not too good with numbers. You're not good with numbers, yet good enough to have calculated that fraud pays off. I wasn't aware. I'll take that answer into account. Exposed the bastard, have I? Hmm. Oh, this will tell me... Interesting. This will tell me what influences their opinions. Please, call in Thomas Leclerc. Please introduce yourself. Thomas Leclerc, I'm a regular at Jean Renard's establishment. Hmm. How long have you suspected that something was wrong with Mr. Renard's alcohol? I became suspicious around a month ago. Plenty of wine drugs were empty, but instead of getting more drunk, I was just getting sober. It was already dawn when I realized I had no money left on me and I was as sober as a baby. How is that possible? Back then, I didn't realize customers were being served a proper first drink and receiving more and more water in the drinks after that. Being slightly drunk, they weren't able to notice the difference. Was it like that every time? Every single time. How do you feel about tricking wary citizens? Or better yet, how long have you been involved in the illegal practice of diluting alcohol? It's not an illegal practice, everyone adds a bit. In your case, it was a bit of wine in the water, not the other way around. I've been doing this for a long time. A few weeks at the most. I've been hard to earn a living lately. I used to run an honest business. Pure wine was over spilling the glasses. Is there any proof to support your testimony? He lied to his customers. No reason he wouldn't lie in court. And how did you feel about tricking wary citizens? Terrible. But all I wanted was to keep my business afloat. Others don't mess around for sure. No deleting would be the end of me. He decided to commit fraud so as to not lose money. I lost my tavern. My family would starve to death. Do you have children? I do. One son and two daughters. Time to start saving up for the dowry. Then why don't you send them to work, idiot? Because he's not a monster. Um. I mean. Hmm. I have no further questions. I have a notebook that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm inclined to acquit. Yeah. Whereas prison will make me more well-loved. Um. I'm inclined towards mercy, just by my nature, but... Be merciful where we can. Although, if the jury is in that same position. Let's go with it. I sentence citizen Jean Renard to prison. Leave the condemned out. Huzzah, long live pure wine. Hmm. Oh, and to the next. May I remind you that you promised to join me. I have a feeling that tonight's moon favors gamblers, though it does not favor spouses. God should grace us with wives who understand the importance of an evening game of dice. You should also know that the right amount of wine guarantees a lucky roll. I should go home. Bringing a judge to the game has benefits. Other players will surely not cheat. That's not a strong argument. My name is Jacques... Jacques-Louis David. I am but a humble painter, not a silver-tongued judge. You're a sly politician, Jacques. As a politician, I understand the importance of keeping promises, and you, my friend, are trying to get out of yours. Mm. Go home, be with your family, or... 
I mean, with the political situation being what it is, perhaps it's in my best interest to keep our promises. Then again, improve our reputation. Hmm. Go home. Not tonight, Jacques. For better or worse. I mean, we have a family to maintain. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, it seems the wife's happier. For the best, really, I suppose. Hmm. This is a very different game than what I expected. Late evening, the judge's house. What? You not want to berate me like you always do? I'm glad you're home. Are you aware that Frederick sometimes imagines you as a deep sea sailor? He dreams that you visit distant countries and have wonderful adventures. But he would rather have you by his side on land. We all want that. I don't want to watch the storm blow your lifeboat away and bury it beneath the waves. There are no waves. The storm is getting closer. Dark clouds already hang over the shore. Just wait until they finish building the guillotine. Your oars will break at once and the waves will take you to a place you'll wish you'd never set foot on. A place without us. Oh. Your family loves you, but we won't find you in the darkness that has already begun to reach for you. Oh. Family actions. Um, re upon returning home, you can decide how you would like to spend the rest of the day. Uh huh. Can we provide you with or deprive you of certain bonuses. Your younger son is special. His attitude makes the other families like you slightly more. Family members, rather. Um, paragraphs and codes? And I'm sorry, who's Aldric? Hmm. Influence on the people, influence on reputation, influence on revolutionaries. I see. Political debate. Wow, the wife loves none of these. Huh. Well. Hmm. I think playing with the children sounds like a good use for an evening. Spend your evening and your energy on carefree playtime with your sons. Your wife's needs can wait. Wait. Can I tend to my wife's needs? Hmm. Curious thing. I guess, yeah, we'll play with the kids. Hmm. A curious thing. You are a very curious game, we the revolution. Very curious indeed. Today, the people of Paris commemorate Jacques. I'm sorry, I don't know French pronunciations well enough. Simoneau, mayor of Etemps. He was lynched by a furious mob for performing his duties to France. This march shall symbolize the unity of our society in the hope that the most violent stage of the revolution is past us. Let's make sure that no other loyal servant of France becomes a victim of such hatred ever again. Oh. I see we're in a different part of the uh, revolution than I thought we were in. Oh no. Simonette was a good, loyal officer. His bastards lynched him for observing the law. Will you join me at the march? I think this is a terrible idea. Uh. Uh. <laughs> um. Sure. We ought to show that we oppose the self-appointed executioners and stand alongside the victims. wonder why the king is taking the trouble to show up. 
Louis the Sixteenth, marching arm in arm with the people of Paris. That is unexpected. King Louis, who is much, much less regal looking than I expected him to be. Continue, please. I'm merely an observer. Do not change your habits for me. I heard a thing or two about a young and ambitious judge of the tribunal. I was curious whether he is guided by justice or by, hmm, entertainment, as some would say. I mean, are we going to be honest? Let's see. What news? Neighborhood gossip. Most Parisians are ordinary. They have ordinary problems, ordinary consciences, and an ordinary resistance to pain. They were not hardened by the revolution. The father of the family that spread the rumor about your weakness was no different. A few punches were more than enough to convince his instincts that it was time to stop talking. Very good. Okay. Aw. Your younger son adores you, like he used to, back in better days. Our reputation is... Oh, oh god, this feels awful. Oh god. <laughs> Why would you do that, game? All right, compiled by Nathan Deasaraf. The defendant is Oliver Muggler, a 65-year-old master locksmith who is famed among Parisian burglars as an expert on unopenable locks. Last month, he was commissioned by the owners of a Parisian glassworks Jean Rude, Louis Roux, and Ferdinand Salon to construct locks for ornate chests for valuables presumably as gifts for their wives. The craftsman praised his latest creation as thief-proof. Shortly following their completion, the industrialists' houses were hit by a series of burglaries committed by a recent newcomer to Paris, Hector Vion. The thief from Orléans was caught in the act and shot by Ferdinand Salon. An expensive Turgot map of Paris with the houses of the recently robbed industrialists Marked on it was found on the deceased. Surprisingly, Salon had given Muggler an identical map as advanced payment. I'm sorry, why did you give him a map as payment? The de this deposit was in addition to the agreed remuneration from all employers. Wait, what? Expert on unopenable locks. Okay. Let's unlock some questions because this doesn't quite make sense to me. Map of Paris. Evidence. I have seven questions to reveal. Great. Master Locksmith. The uh, offender's personality. Lock construction. Uh, course of events. Course of events. Famous thief. Oh, wait. You were a locksmith meaning a thief. Not a... Hmm. Okay. Evidence. Hmm. Two more questions. So, Master Locksmith. Extenuating circumstances? Okay. And you, course of events. Haha! -ha! Okay, I don't quite get the logic, but I'm... I'm mostly guessing, but not entirely, if you get my meaning. And this is unavailable in this case. Oh, let's ask. Robbing the bourgeoisie is no crime. For a new case file, you are citizen Olivier Muggler. Is that okay? Or is that correct, rather? Is it okay that your name is Muggler? I feel like that is a slur of some kind. Perhaps against non-magical beings. Wait, what? I'm um, sorry. Uh, indeed it is, Monsieur Le Judge. May I have any request? I would like to sit down. I'm an old man, you see. Basic respect for the judici judiciary requires that you remain standing. Do the names Salon, Rude, and Rue mean anything to you? Why are you so determined to harass an old man? They sound like the names of my debtors. Debtors? They're the victim of activities you conducted. You mean locksmithing? You were commissioned by the victims to make chest locks. Who installed them? It was me, naturally, and all in agreement with the contract. My job was to prepare and install the locks, and the employer was only to come and see whether the work was completed. And pay, of course. Was the installation carried out at your workshop? No. On site, at the client's property. None of those idlers bothered to deliver the trunks to my workshop, so I had to strain my old legs. Does that mean you knew the addresses of the victims? 
How else would I get there? Blindfolded and on a wagon? Yeah, that makes sense. Do you recognize this map? No, I don't recall ever seeing it before. Ferdinand Salon claims that he gave you this map as advance payment for your services. He claims what? That wicked wretch of a second-rate merchant? He gave me a scrap of paper as payment for making three locks and says it's supposed to be worth more than 3,000 francs he owes me. Oh, so labor is being judged while fraud remains at large. Silence. So this map, this map does belong to you. It does not. So where's the map that you received from Citizen Salon? I lost it, but it wasn't even worth a loaf of bread, so it surely won't shed a tear. But if you have it, maybe you stole it from me. You better make a note that Oliver Muggler demands remuneration from Rude, Rue, and Salon. Hmm. Curious. Were you the one who marked the addresses of the three victims on the map? The map you claim not to have seen. As your clients are marked on the map. I don't know who marked them. Maybe you should ask the person you found the map on. Maybe the court made the marks and has no memory of doing so. You think there are too many coincidences in your story? You obtain the map, but lose it, and then it is found on the thief who has robbed your clients. I know nothing of coincidences. I only make locks. Hmm. Rumor has it you're one of the best locksmiths in Paris. I should deny it for modesty's sake, but I will not. That cannot be true, though, as a random thief from Orléans was easily able to open your locks. Well, they must have been one of the best thieves in Orléans. Must be serious, Monsieur Le Juge. Every lock can be picked with the right talents, even my locks. Did you give Hector Vion the map? I gave nothing to Achilles, Hector, or any other Greek. Call on the witness, Citizen Jean Rude. Jean Rude, in the flesh. You will not speak unless called upon. Naturally, of course. What went missing during the burglary? My house was the first one to be robbed, and in my case it was mostly valuables. At Rude's house he will not say himself, and I do not want to go to prison. It was the letters he exchanged over the years with King Louis. Damn monarchist. Salon did not lose a thing. He shot up that vermin in the act. This is what he said. What happened to the items he'd stolen? That still remains unknown. According to Salon, Hector had nothing with him. Ferdinand suspects he had hidden the other valuables somewhere. Hid the other items before robbing the last house? Strange. Hmm. Advanced payment in the form of a map, its disappearance, the murder of a burglar, and a lack of payment for services. It all makes for a rather strange story, a suspicious one, too. I do not. What are you mumbling? If I say something, will I be free? He knows something. Please testify what you know immediately. That map was Salon's idea. He told the thief about the advanced payment we gave to Locksmith and proposed that Hector steal it. And he did. Indeed, but then the bastard robbed us. Later, we were forced by Salon not to pay the locksmith because he sent the thief after us. That's when it all went down the drain. As the bourgeoisie for you, he fooled them all in one fell swoop. Sounds like Citizen Salon had everything planned. However, there's no evidence to support this claim. Perhaps it is Citizen Rude that is plotting against his partner and wants to frame him. And Vian is dead, so we, he will not be able to shed light on any of this. Huh. Please restrain yourself. The testimony of a witness is still not evidence, neither of Citizen Salon's guilt nor of your innocence. How much did you charge for your services, exactly? 3,000 francs. Tidy sum. If you're a master locksmith, you charge that much too. It's quite a substantial fee. Indeed, that's how much it costs to have high quality locks made by a master with nearly 50 years of experience. Those bastards never pay me a single franc. The victims did not pay you the agreed amount, not a franc. I'd beat that money right out of them, but I'm too old for that. Did you know Hector Vion before? This is the first time I've heard the name. That is interesting, as you were seen draining several bottles of wine together at the Ginger Margot Inn. A crime? No, but the question is, why are you denying it now? Was your drinking spree just a deception for discussing the burglary? Nobody had a drink with introduce themselves as Hector. I didn't plan any heist with a Hector, Victor, or Hugo. I'm a locksmith, and I earned good money from it. Burglaries are for vagrants without a job. Hmm. 
I have one more question, but I feel like it's redundant at this stage. Quiddle. The revolutionaries don't like that, but the people like it. Hmm. A curious thing. The verdict for citizen Olivier Muggler is not guilty. Lead the defendant away. Hmm. To be honest, this does not bear the marks of social justice. They would not pay him, so he had them robbed. There's balance here. Hmm. Pity that. Okay, I think we've got the idea of the game. It's a curious story we're building here. I want to see what the next day is. King Louis the Sixteenth. There were people who truly loved him. He reminded the French they had noble ancestors. Hmm. Do not be manipulated by people who are not bearing the burden of responsibility. This saddened me. Someone had advised him to say that. Someone who was well aware of the cold, inevitable wind of change. I did not pity the king, but those who will come after him as they will not have great ancestors. Hmm. hmm. A curious thing. Frenchmen march in the streets of Paris, side by side, one line after another, to commemorate Jacques Guillemon Sumino, mayor of Etamps, or A Etamps? Eh. He is murdered by a furious mob, punished for a law he did not enact, but is obliged to observe. Freedom of speech killed him if we understand this as the right to cast stones to show one's discontent. The right to murder people because you deem them responsible for your miserable life. Surely the people of Paris would prefer if we said that nothing happened. Revolutionaries endorsement plus one. Common people, not so much. That's a curious thing. Your son is rather good with the viola. He's both talented and enthusiastic. I'd prefer he was as enthusias enthusiastic about the law books I gave him. Maybe his destiny is to become an artist, not a lawyer. Well, he likes to hear me playing, and there is nothing more boring than law. See, he would rather let his career rely on the humors of the people. There are many ways to rescue France. Believe me, our country desperately needs something to ennoble it. The power is in the hands of simple, illiterate people. Let him rescue their souls with the music. That's better than boring law and clauses. See what you're doing? You're spoiling my child. I don't know. <laughs> I do not have my own children to spoil, so I'm focusing on yours. Speaking of which... Oh, no, 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 no. No? Locked action. After important story events, you may find yourself in action forced upon you. On this day, you become the victim of your own decisions. You attended the parade in memory of the lynched official. I mean, yeah. A curious, curious game. I so very much want to know more. That is our new symbol of freedom. You can still smell the fresh wood. Do you feel free looking at it? Individuals like us do not need symbols, but France does. Did you hear the news of the day? People are running around like headless chickens, and yelling about Louis and his entourage escaping Paris. So, we will not be enjoying the aroma of fresh wood for long. Monuments like that are not installed solely for the purpose of punishing thieves or lesser aristocrats. Do you think it wants to taste royal blood? Louis's flight was a stupid move, yet it seems it was planned. One of us will sacrifice him. That is, if they catch him. Is that why Louis visited us at the court? 
To manipulate us? Maybe deep in his heart he felt what the builders of the guillotine did. That someone has to be exposed as a traitor. Even if there is none. A curious, curious thing. Welcome, Citizen Fidelli. My name is Antoine Quentin F Fauquier de Tinville. I'm the public prosecutor that has been assigned to assist at every tribunal trial starting from today. I should warn you that I'm uncompromising, though I hope that we quickly find common ground. In happier news, the construction of the guillotine has been finished today. We may begin using it today. Yes, we've seen it. The king is gone. Treason. Anyone with information about his whereabouts should immediately disclose it to the authorities. Robespierre. A good relationship with our father. Huh. Very good, very good. Well, I think that is where we leave this glance. We the Revolution is a curious narrative-based game. I do love the art style, and this is a time period that, while I'm vaguely aware of it, I'm not aware of the specifics. I can't say how accurate it is, but this feels like it's... It's got the right tone, if you get my meaning. An interesting game, well worth the purchase price. I'm glad I supported these developers. Well, as always, though, thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly. And I will see you all soon. Goodbye.